Keydrick put a scarlet letter in here just for me. Keydrick. It's got like a little sun on it. Suave as hell. I would have been able to eat this in one sitting back when my metabolism worked. Get out of the, get out of the way! I don't know, I meet some really crazy people on the train. I can ignore them. Two of the trade, episode 80, 89.3. We're featuring an actor today, and this was supposed to uh, play the role of a slate, and it worked. <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Jonathan, this is Noodle, and welcome to Tools of the Trade, the show where we explore the everyday tools of the trade that entrepreneurs need to get through their day. This week, we are going to be going through the Kedrick Salati box. Kedrick uh, is a 17-year-old uh, from Colorado who currently stars as Henry Jennings on the smash hit show, The Americans. He has also starred in the uh, movie Rockaway that was directed by one of our previous School of Hustle and Tools of the Trade guests, uh, John Budine. And we are so excited to be able to share Kedrick's box because he is 17 years old and has already surpassed me in every way feasible. And there's something very humbling about that, and there's also something deeply, deeply upsetting about that to me. Good morning. Something I want you guys all to know about Noodle, when I adopted him at the age of seven, he had multiple dead teeth in his mouth and I ripped him all out. But ever since I did that, he has no way to kind of retract his tongue and to keep it there. Um, so one of our funny little banters that we have is I'll ask him, I'll say, Noodle, put your tongue away. And he just doesn't listen. So the first item we have in the Kedrick box. Oh, is a planner. Oh, is a planner. He plans. Oh, this is so much more than just a, a, a calendar. In the back, it's got a habit tracker which I could start using to track um, my cholesterol intake. This is incredible for any entrepreneur and specifically for a 17 year old. When I was 17, I, I didn't know anything. I feel like I didn't know anything. I feel like I didn't know how to organize my time in any capacity. So for any entrepreneur, whether you're trying to get to a place where maybe it's something like you wanna get up early and run every day. That's something that helps people set their day up well. Or you're an actor and you have auditions that you need to write down. But this is a really cool, useful item that I can see anyone uh, really benefiting from having. It's also like suave as hell. It's got like a little sun on it that makes me think that it almost like it's like a spell book, like a witch book, but it's not. I see sleep. Prince of Pogs. The very next item we have in the Kedrick box is cooked white rice with stir-fried kimchi. I did not have a sophisticated palate when I was 17. When I was 17, I remember they still had that green ketchup. And then go back to me eating them with french fries, thus escalating my cholesterol. I've really been digging my grave for years now. But I think this is really cool because not only does it say that Kedrick is like fancy and fun, uh, but it's obviously, it's for, it's on the go. Oh, this looks really good too. I've never had stir fried kimchi before, but it's also supposed to be very good for you. Also, oh my God. Oh, speaking of kimchi, Kedrick, while you're watching this, I have a recommendation for you. First of all, great taste, this looks fabulous. Second of all, you have to watch an episode on Netflix called The Chef's Table. And it follows this woman, uh, she's a monk in Korea. Do you know, have you watched this episode? Yes. I don't remember what the episode is called, she's a monk in Korea, and it's all about these absolutely prolific chefs, and her whole thing is she doesn't have a restaurant. She cooks for her monastery. Um, but she makes her own kimchi, and the way that she does it, and the way that people talk about it is absolutely captivating. So that's a recommendation for you, and I love the idea of having food on the go. This next item. A vat of Skittles. So I am a Skittles person as well. This is an episode about truths. You guys have learned about my cholesterol and now you're gonna learn about my sugar intake. I am a Skittles person as well. Although I'm always savory. I always like salty things over sweet things. And I love this because this speaks to him being 17. He's so young and he's already achieved so much. And I feel like this is something that he just kind of keeps around because they're good. There's no real utility to eating a Skittle outside of they are tasty and I deserve them. So I think any entrepreneur uh, deserves the opportunity to reward themselves, whatever you like. Like you can be healthy, you can take care of yourself. Obviously he's eating white rice and kimchi, right? So he is not, you know, overindulging too far. I would have been able to eat this in one sitting back when my metabolism worked. What do you think? He's riveted. He's absolutely riveted by the skill. Okay, the next thing we, oh, oh, oh. it's just a red envelope. 
Kedrick put a scarlet letter in here just for me? Kedrick. This is so cute. So when Kedrick was, he's 17, his mom goes to them places, right? He was, his mom was with him when he filmed School of Hustle with us and she is so nice and she is so awesome. It was great to see their relationship because I feel like a lot of times when people think about a child actor. Sometimes the connotation can be overworked, especially since he started when he was very young and you could just tell that he really, they really have an absolutely wonderful relationship. And anyone, whether you're an actor or you're going into a, you're building a small business, you, ha you need to have support, right? Whether it's from your mother or your father or your guardian or your friends, whomever's opinion you value, right? It's, it's important to have that support system. And I do, I think this is so sweet. And as he says for his mom, because she's always given him great advice. And I wonder if she also advised him to buy an elephant-sized bag of Skittles. That I don't know about. Kedrick, that might have been a little deviation on your part. The next item we have in the box uh, is, it's a Desident Silic Gel. It says to throw away on it. I know this isn't actually an item in the box, but he left it in there and I just had to have some fun with it. So we're just gonna discard this. However, I will say, uh, if you ever buy a garment that says, uh, it has one of these and it says, uh, throw away, do not eat. I would advise you to do both of those things. The next item we have in the box, oh, 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 this is awesome, is MetroCard. If I was an actor on a TV show on Showtime and I was successful at 17, you would not see me in a subway. I would be one of those people that'd be like, oh, I need an Uber. Oh no, I need an Uber, I'm an actor, oh my goodness. And Kedrick is just not one of those people. He's on the subway. And I also love this because it speaks to self-sufficiency in transportation. Any entrepreneur, whether they have their own helicopter, if they're there, or they're still kind of, you know, hustling and hoofing it, they have to be able to accommodate that. And I love this because you can't get anywhere in New York City without a subway car. Because even if you do want to take an Uber, you are going to be sitting in traffic on the West Side Highway until you're late. But I, I do, I think this is an incredible thing. And it's environmentally friendly. Oh my God, Kedrick loves the environment. That has to be it. He loves the environment. And he also is investing in the city. Though I will take this moment to say, MTA, you need to get your <laughs> Okay, the next item. <laughs> the next item is Air Bonds. Do, do, do. <laughs> Everyone has AirPods it, who we feature in these boxes. And my producer is in the room right now and I'm gonna ask him, can you cover your ears right now? I'm stealing them. They're also stealing them back from me because you can enter to win this box and if you win it, you get the AirPods as well. So I technically can't take them, but I try every time. The headphones have been on the show many times before, whether it's podcasting or music, zoning people out, um, tuning into a phone call, whatever it might be. These are, there's such utility to having these. And I've said this before, but my favorite thing to do with AirPods is to put them in and to not turn anything on so that when I'm on the subway and I'm reading a book and someone's like, get out of the get out of the way! I don't know, I meet some really crazy people on the train. I can ignore them. Noodle is my co-star and I would just like to point out that I don't believe he's pulling his weight this episode. Oh, he's, do you see the little twitching? He's dreaming. You know what he's doing in his dreams? He's running away from the producer because he stole AirPods. Okay, so the next, the next and the final item, the final item in the Kedrick box is a zippy. Brilliant. Noodle, you're sleeping, so you can use a small blanket. I have a zippy with me, I keep it everywhere I go. It's at my desk, right? The temperature will fluctuate. Sometimes I'll walk into my office and it's a sauna, and other times I'll walk into it, it's the Arctic. And when it's the Arctic in particular, I like to have my zippy with me. A lot of the reasons why people will go into business for themselves is so that they can kind of play by their own rules. You don't have to shirt and tie that line. You don't have to. You can say, you know what I'm gonna wear today? Mucklucks, Sophie shorts, and a zip. Some of the most successful people I know uh, do not care what their employees look like. And I, I kind of like that. I think more and more people are becoming less concerned with the optics of what you know people are putting out. And it's more about what people are um, uh, able to bring to the table. And that's it. That's it. The only thing we have left in here looks like a small sort of dead, sort of dead leaf. Um, I can imagine that he didn't submit this as an item, but I will put it in here so that whoever wins this box will also get this here small leaf. That is the entire episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I wanna thank Kedrick. I really am in, uh, uh, very inspired by, by the kinds of things that I saw in this box and the message that it sent, and I really hope you guys were as well. We are bringing this up, uh, new episodes to you every single week on Instagram TV and on YouTube. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, for Noodle, for myself, 
And on behalf of these uh, a massive, massive uh, amounts of Skittles, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe on YouTube if you did like watching this video and be sure to tune in next time.